Hi guys! Welcome to story time. Today we're going to read a story about a mouse and his valentine and then we're going to read some stories about our favorite people, mom, dad, and grandma and grandpa. So let's get started. We are going to start off today with Little Mouse's Big Valentine. Little Mouse's Big Valentine by Thatcher Hurd. One morning, Little Mouse took out a jar of red paint, a big piece of paper, and a pair of scissors. Then he made a valentine. But Little Mouse's valentine was so big that nobody wanted it. Squirrel said, where would I hide it? Mole said, it's too bright, it hurts my eyes. Woodchick said, I already have a valentine. Owl said, it looks silly to me. So Little Mouse went looking for someone to give his valentine to. Little Mouse walked until he came to a river. He stood at the edge, edge of the water and called out, who would like a great big valentine? But the fish of the river just swam on. Little Mouse paddled his valentine across the river. On the other side, there was a big hill. Little Mouse started to climb the hill. His valentine was heavy. At last, Little Mouse came to the top of the hill. He sat down to rest. Suddenly, a hawk swooped down out of the sky and grabbed the big valentine. Little Mouse held on tight. Up, up, up went the hawk. Little Mouse looked down. It was a long way down. Just then the hawk let go of the valentine. Little Mouse tumbled down. Luckily, Little Mouse found he could steer the big valentine. Little Mouse steered his valentine through some trees and landed on a pile of leaves. Little Mouse heard a voice. Ouch! Who are you? I'm Gloria, said the other little mouse. What's that? It's a valentine, said little mouse. I'm looking for someone to give it to. I'll help you carry it. Perhaps together we'll find someone to give it to. The two little mice carried the valentine together. Soon Gloria said, I'm getting a little tired. So am I, said little mouse. Look, said Gloria. There is my house. It looks like a nice house, said Little Mouse. Gloria and Little Mouse leaned the big valentine against Gloria's house. Then they sat on the lawn and ate a snack. Little Mouse smiled at Gloria. Gloria smiled at Little Mouse. They held paws. I've been thinking, said Little Mouse. Oh, said Gloria. I've been thinking that I would like to give my big valentine to you, said Little Mouse. But it's awfully big. Little Mouse sat and thought. He asked Gloria, do you have two pairs of scissors? Gloria went into her house and rummaged around. Yes, she called out and she brought them outside. Then out of that one big valentine, Little Mouse and Gloria made valentines for everyone. And the nicest one was for Gloria. All right, now we're moving on to how to surprise dad. Shh. To surprise a dad, you have to be tricky. First of all, don't let him see this book. How to hide this book. Wrap it in paper and cover it with pictures. Tuck it between books no one ever reads. Where's the polka dotted hippo book wink wink make up a secret name for it like polka dotted hippo do you want to become a super dad surpriser great there are so many different ways some surprises you make draw hearts and hide them everywhere build a snow dad invent something amazing just for him a time machine other surprises you do. Get his toothbrush ready. Tidy up his shoes and hats. Help him with the grocery shopping. 
If you want to make him laugh, walk and talk like Dad. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Some surprises you don't make or do. Instead, you find them. How to find surprises. Look up, down, and all around. Stay still and listen. Dig a hole. Search through sand or kick up leaves. Kids have good eyes for nature, so surprise him when you find a caterpillar eating a leaf, a busy, busy antil, a squirrel hiding in a tree, dandelions growing, geese flying high above. Now that you're an expert on any day surprises, you're ready for special day surprises. These take more planning. You have to, you can ask mom for help. Special days for dad. Father's Day, welcome home, his birthday, congratulations. First, choose when to have a big surprise and decide who's going, who you're going to invite. Just your family, your pets, your stuffed animals, his friends, your friends, the neighbors. Then decorate with your, his favorite color. Keep it simple or go wild. Now plan the yummiest part, the treats. Make a dessert that looks like your dad. Bake chocolate chip cookies. Be sure to have dad's favorite treats, spicy chips, smoked oysters, and super stinky cheese. Don't forget presents, presents for dad, shirt and tie, wear them for an even bigger surprise. Everything you need to make paper airplanes together, a secret treasure map of your yard, coupons, coupon play catch, coupon fishing trip, coupon read a book, dad's choice, Coupon, cheerfully clean room. Play coupon. If your dad gets suspicious and asks, is something going on here? Look innocent, distract him with a silly dance. When it's surprise time, get ready to hide. How to hide. Behind the curtains or the couch, under the table or the cushions. While you wait for your dad, Practice whispering, surprise. Okay, now shh. Surprise. Remember, of all of the surprises, the best ones are the special ones you make just for your dad. Now, don't forget to hide this book. If you do want to let your dad read it, have him say this aloud first. I, dad promise not to remember anything in this book, especially anything about surprises. Okay, so we read a book about dad. Now we're going to learn how to raise a mom. Do you have to raise your mom? Let's find out how we raise a mom. Raising a happy, healthy mom is fun and important. Are you ready for some tips? Help your mom begin the day. How to start her morning. One, let her sleep in. Two, kiss, kiss, kiss her awake. Three, open the curtains and say, rise and shine. Your breakfast is ready. When it's time to get dressed, give her choices. How to dress a mom. Not too serious. Not too silly. Not too sparkly. Perfect. A mom can forget things when she's in a rush. So pile it all at the door. Snacks, toys, purse, keys, phone, shopping list, library books to return, letters to mail. Check, 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 check. Errands are fun until you end up in a long line. If your mom starts to get cranky, surprise her with a snack and a toy. If that doesn't work, act out a fun story. If that still doesn't work, say, thank you so much, sweet pea, for being so patient. When you're finally done, you might run into a friend. Right away, plan a play date for your mom. Whisper, remember to share. Back at home, if your mom has work to do, tell her, it's quiet time, shh. Then you start your own project. On regular days, moms tidy up without being asked. Today, it's your turn. A happy, healthy, strong mom needs Exercise. How to exercise with mom. Take turns scoring goals. Race against the wind. Hop like a kangaroo. Swing like a monkey. Slither like a snake. When your mom is tired, show her the best way to relax. 
how to relax. One, do a yoga pose. Two, look for wiggly worms, slimy snails, and roly poly bugs. Three, sing her a lullaby. Rock a bye, mommy, sleeping under the tree. But what if the rain keeps you stuck inside? How to play with a mom inside. Plan an indoor beach day. Set up a zoo all across the floor. Soon it'll be time for dinner and that means vegetables. If your mom's picky, try these tricks. Broccoli. Pretend she's a dinosaur eating the trees. Rawr, chomp, chew. Carrots. Make them into a heart. Ask which will you eat first, your peas or your beans? When it gets dark, your mom may want to skip right to bedtime stories, but tell her not yet. First, you have to put away your toys, scrub your face, put on your pajamas, brush your teeth, hop into bed. Now it's time for stories. If she says one more, please say okay, but remind her to get to sleep on time. Then snuggle up and ask, what was the best thing about today? She'll snuggle back and say, you. And that's how you raise a happy, healthy mom. So are you guys going to start raising a happy, healthy mom? I hope so, because guess what? You get to babysit grandma next. Here we go. When you babysit a grandma, if you're lucky, it's a sleepover at her house. What should you do when you get to her door? Put on a disguise and say, guess who? Knock with a secret knock, only she knows. Tap, tap, tappity tap. If you like cats, meow. If you like dogs, bark. If you like goldfish, mmm. When she opens the door, shout, Grandma, your babysitter is here. Hug your mom and dad goodbye and say, don't be sad, I'll be home soon. How to keep a grandma busy. Go to the park, bake snickerdoodles, have a costume parade, go to the park to feed the ducks, do yoga, look at family pictures, go to the park to swing, play hide and seek, make goofy hats, go to the park to slide, have a dancing puppet show, read stacks of books, go to the park to take photos, do puzzles, play cards. As the babysitter, you need to let her choose, of course. She'll want to go to the park. What to do at the park? Slide down the bumpy slide and the twirly slide. If she's feeling brave, try the tallest slide of all. Push your grandma on the swing, but not too high. Remind her to pump her legs. Feed the ducks. Show her how to help the shy ones get some food. Don't forget, good babysitters always say, five more minutes before it's time to go. Back home, plan some more fun. How to play with a grandma. Grab two microphones and sing a duet. You might want to try You Are My Sunshine or Happy Birthday or make up a new song together. Then you can line up all her shoes to play shoe shop. If your grandma likes fancy things, decorate her with ribbons, bows, and stickers. Shout, ta-da, when you hand her the mirror. Look, at even the dog got all dressed up in stickers and bows. Soon it's time for dinner. Your grandma may be a yummy cook, but share your tricks to make everything taste even yummier. Add sprinkles to anything. Well, almost anything. Arrange the food to make silly faces. Shut your eyes as you take each bite and say, mmm. When it starts to get dark outside, take your grandma outside to find the first star. Back inside, snuggle up and read some books. Turn the pages slowly so she can find everything in the pictures. Ask your grandma for stories about when your mom was little. What was mom's favorite thing to do at the park? Did she ever get in trouble? Was her grandma as fun as you? Teach her how to say I love you without making a sound. Point to your eye, to your heart, and then to her. Or, 
you can also do this. This is a sign for I love you. So you guys can show that to your mom and dad before they put you in bed tonight. Now let your grandma choose where she wants to sleep. Places to sleep in a tent, on the floor, on the couch, in the little bed, in the big bed. If she asks, should we leave the nightlight on, the hall light on and the door open? Answer, yep, yep, yep. Once you're both tucked in, make shadow puppets. Have your shadow foxes kiss goodnight. If she's missing your mom and dad, tell her they'll be here tomorrow, bright and early. In the morning, when you hear a knock, open the door dressed up as twins. After you're all packed up comes the hardest part. Goodbye time. How to say goodbye to a grandma. Let her borrow some sprinkles, some books and stickers and ribbons. Say I love you without making a sound. Give her a big hug and ask, when can I babysit you again? I hope you enjoyed story time today. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you real quick how you can make a heart by folding a piece of paper in half. Okay, so we have our piece of paper and it's folded in half. Okay. And then we are going to take and draw a hook. So like a fish hook or Maui's hook. Just like that. And then you take some scissors. Take the scissors and then you cut just along that little hook that you just drew. back up it's a heart and you can do these as big or as small as you want to and you can leave them all over the house or you can write things on them like love mom love dad love sissy 